The Malta Customs Department strives to excel in the continuously changing environment which is shaped by globalization and trade. The department has for long been active in facilitating trade whilst also ensuring that both the fiscal and security interests of Malta and the EU are safeguarded. In recent years, the Customs Department of Malta has been hard at work making sure that all its different aspects meet and even exceed the standards of other customs entities around Europe. This is why the 2017-2019 business strategy was drawn up and, to date, the department keeps reaching milestone after milestone. The Customs Department has stuck to its 2017-2019 business strategy. The motto geared for new challenges. During the past years, Malta Customs has indeed reorganized its structures to strategically position itself to face the coming ordeals. Meanwhile, the Customs Department is setting up its 2020-2022 business strategy with the intent to further place itself in a sound position to even reach new heights. The department has been employing new tools and resorting to innovative strategies to counteract the growing criminal activities. We witnessed the introduction of the ZBV scanner, the Nuketech X-ray equipment, the new scanning facility, and the relocation of the enforcement section to a bigger and better equipped location. Now, the department is happy to launch its newest section, the K9 unit. The process associated with the establishment of the Customs K9 unit initiated in mid-2016. Today's launch does not mean that the mission is accomplished. Today marks the beginning of an even harder task to demonstrate to current and future societies that our commitment to safety and security is our prime objective. The K9 unit was the missing piece of the puzzle. Together with experts in the field from Malta and the UK and funding through the EU Hercule 3 program, the Customs Department has succeeded in creating this section from scratch, providing a qualified instructor and eight K9 teams composed of expertly trained handlers with their canines, with professional training being provided from a well-established leading K9 training center in the United Kingdom. This was complemented with all the necessary tools for the K9 teams to learn and excel in the field. The dogs have been trained to spot narcotics, large amounts of money, and tobacco, all of which hamper the safety and fiscal interests of the block. Thanks to this new unit, the enforcement function will be benefiting from better targeting and an improved success rate during searches. Without the need of intrusive measures, this new element within Malta Customs will lead to the tracking of undeclared goods and tax fraud, and also to the tracing of narcotics as they enter the country's borders. To ensure the success of this section, the department is investing in the construction of a new state-of-the-art canine unit center, which, apart from serving for kennel purposes, will also include a resource center and training facilities for the unit itself. During the past three years, the department took the initiative to focus heavily on communication, an element which, in today's society, is a key focal point for any business or entity. The department has rebranded in a bid to project a new image and change the perception of the public. New means of media were disseminated across the publishing houses and press to better represent the department. Press releases have been published more frequently, thus having the customs department mentioned positively in the press five times more frequently than in any other year of operation. During the 2017 ECNTC meetings, the Malta Customs Department communication representative was selected to form part of the 50th Customs Union Anniversary Committee. The project put forward by Malta was selected to celebrate the Customs Union Anniversary, and today we are proud to announce the unveiling of this project for the first time. The Malta Customs Department Mobile Video Game the sole purpose of this video game is to educate the younger generations who do not remember life without the customs union and are not really sure what customs do and their role in today's society. We went for a non-conventional and an innovative tool for them not to be bored and to get our message across. 
This is the first mobile video game developed by a customs entity and has the sole purpose to educate the users in an entertaining manner. The game celebrates the 50th anniversary of the customs union, which is perhaps the best example of unity in the union. As so, this game will be distributed across all member states of the EU and will be promoted by the Commission as the key communication project for the event. Youngsters, as well as adults, will now have a clearer picture of what customs represents and what the department does behind the scenes. The Customs Department prides itself in being a forerunner in the use of mobile services offered by government. The initial release of the mobile app was officially launched in October of 2015 and consisted of the import calculator, with its main functionality being the provision of an estimation of the taxes and duties to be paid when one imports goods from non-EU countries. However, the first major release of the mobile app named Malta Customs was developed and launched for the general public in March of 2017, as part of the Malta government's suite of mobile apps. It consisted of the functionality provided in the initial release together with other additional functionalities to further improve the dissemination of information whilst, at the same time, facilitating the communication between users and Malta Customs Department. The app menu included a customs notice board, news and events, offices opening hours, import duty calculator, useful links, and a contact form. The latest version of the Customs mobile app was launched in May of 2018. This upgraded version includes two main screens, namely a main menu and a home screen, consisting of the same previous functionalities while introducing a new feature whereby users of the National Import and Export System NIES, are progressively notified about the status of their respective submitted declarations as their status is updated. This feature is very beneficial to traders because it facilitates their business process right from their office. The customs office's geolocation through Google Maps is another new feature introduced with this upgraded version. Malta Customs is committed to continue to enhance the functionality of its mobile services in the coming years to further facilitate trade for the public as well as for the traders. This app is available for Android and iOS phones in Play Store and App Store, respectively. This year, we are celebrating the 50th anniversary of the European Customs Union, a union which grew into economic, political and monetary one as well. The Customs Union gives free trade without any tariffs or any other obstacle amongst its member states with tariffs against third countries. Malta was lucky that two years after the setting up of this union, it had an association agreement which gave it free trade into, of our exports into Europe and in return Malta gave preferential agreement to European imports against third countries. We're looking now for the next 30, 50 years. Unfortunately, the beginning is overshadowed with the tariff wars between the US and Europe and the rest of the world. We just hope that reason will prevail and this will not be uh, made bigger and worse um, for the world as a whole. All this work depends on the customs because they have a very important role to play to distinguish uh, between the imports between those coming from customs union and those coming from outside. It is also the responsibility to collect the tariffs where they are relevant and contribute to the state um, coffers. We augur a very successful 50 years to the customs and to those connected with them. The Malta Customs Department will always continue to adapt to the changing world. And whatever the challenge, the department always manages to succeed.